Hello again everyone and welcome back to my series on how to draw iconic images. Uh, the one I'm drawing today is a very powerful one by Pablo Picasso and it's called The Weeping Woman. It was painted in 1937 after he painted Guernica which depicted the horrors of uh, the Spanish Civil War and The Weeping Woman was meant to symbolize generally the suffering of people during wartime. And uh, it's very simple eyes, and the centers of the eyes are almost a bit like fragmented, exploding bombs, a bit like that, in a flash, like that. Okay, it's almost as if they're reflected in her eyes, like that. And because, you know, there's a sorrowful expression, the eyebrows, which can indicate the, you know, the feelings of the person, they go up the way, like that. Another one coming in, probably about here. It's like that, okay? And that, uh, those lines have got big jagged shapes, okay? And in the middle, you get uh, the kind of furrowed brow shape there. Everything is based on the reality of the face, but it's split up, you know, fragmented. You put a kind of geometric shape in here, and another shape come in like that, and another line come in like this, another shape. Again, accentuating that upward motion of the expression, like that. And then from these ties, you get two shapes coming down like this, almost like a nose, but in actual fact, what Picasso does, again, he gives you different viewpoints of the face. So you see the eyes from the front, but you actually see the nose from the side. And the nose comes down about here. Comes back in there. What he does, in fact, he doubles that up. And you get another nose shape coming in here, coming down to the mouth. And the mouth is seen in kind of three-quarter view, like that. And it's open. And you see the teeth at the top here. And then the line of the bottom lip come in like that, and the bottom teeth coming in there, very simplified again. Okay, now she's actually has a handkerchief in her mouth which is obviously chewing in anguish, so I start to put her then just now. This comes in here, and she's holding it in very simplified shapes of fingers which uh, came in like that. Another one coming in below that. And one coming in down here. And that's out of shape there. Okay, and the hanky itself. You can see the lines, the jagged lines of it. Again, very geometric. As it breaks up these shapes, simplifies them. Like that. And then we'll move back up to here again. And again, he adds in another little geometric shape here. And one there. And then along this shape, he adds teardrops. as if they're pouring down the woman's face, like that. And then to almost accentuate them, he puts in a row of kind of jagged shapes. Like that. Almost uh, to show the pain of war too. And he adds a couple of things in here. Now, he also has, imagine this line coming up, and it kind of carries on down like that, almost like the track of a tear, with a tear in the end there. Okay, and right above the eyes, uh, he draws quite thick, but pointed and jagged eyelashes. 
everything is jagged, you know. It shows like a horrors of war, I suppose. Now along the top, it simplifies the hair. Now you can imagine the roll of hair coming across the top like that, and the style of the times. But it splits that up into these kind of shapes here. To show you the curls of the hair. And she's actually wearing a hat. And you see, kind of see the brim of the hat again depicted very sim simply, like that. Um, and above the, the curl of the hair, you have a flower, which is obviously in the hat, diamond shape in the center. And then you get the petals, which have been you know, turned into kind of geometric shapes again. Like that. Goes in there, and the up brim of the hat on the other side comes out like that. And it doubles up. Comes down to join her face then, and it goes up like that. And the top of the hat appears in there. And he doubles that line up. Like that. And comes up in like that. And there's a shape here which looks actually a bit like a, a feather, which again he has turned into quite angular shapes. Like that. Okay. And coming down from here uh, you have the hair, but before I do that, I'll put in the ear. Again, a very simple curved shape. Come in there. With, kind of like an earring shape. Bottom of the ear in there. And above that, you have the hair curving in parallel lines, curving down behind the ear. Curving down like that. All the way down. It doesn't continue like that all the way, because once it gets to about here, and the lines then start to do that, have to curve into the hair itself, and they slope up towards this, so start bringing the pen line a bit closer to the middle. Like that. Okay, and then as we come down to the, to the cheek shape, it puts a kind of cheek shape in there, but then again it fragments it, puts another triangle like that, and brings these pointy shapes down to the mouth there, stops that, and it brings another triangle down to here, splitting up the planes of the face. Kind of curve of a cheek there, and below the mouth he has a couple of lines come in, one like that, and then the actual shape curved of the chin come in, right up to the jawline, which curves up right up to the ear there, like that. And a few more strands of hair coming down here, like that, and then more hair coming out from underneath like that, and this joins in there, and then he shows three fingers here, but he also shows the thumb, again very simplistically, like that, the wrinkles on it, and dub, kind of double that up, Get another bit of the hanky coming in there, and then Coming from here, you get like the sinews of the neck, and she's straining, you know, like that. Gives a sense of the tension. And curve there. And then these lines, which are repeated like that. And 
and a couple of lines in there. Okay, now let me see a bit more in here. Now maybe we can line coming down there. A couple of lines going across. Like that. And down beside of the mouth here, there's a curve which uh, is like the line down the, from the nose down the, the crease, if you like, down the side of the mouth. Okay, I'm just checking now to see how I'm left anything. There's a wee bit of a pointed shape up here that I've missed out. And anything else? No, that's fine. Oh, nope, oh, another wee bit in here. I remembered. Split of the plane of the face. Okay, so there's a nice linear drawing of the Weeping Woman, Pablo Picasso's famous painting of 1937. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you can join me again when I'll be doing another iconic image for you. In the meantime, of course, all the best, and happy drawing!